Hi, I'm White Groff, the owner of Hammersmiths, and you're watching one of our how-to videos on Hammersmith DIY products. Today, we're going to talk to you about fence post capitals, and in particular, how to finish off the top of the fence post capital. You would have seen in one of our earlier videos how to install a fence post capital. If you look at the link in the description below, you'll be able to view that. But one of the things we do get a lot of questions from our customers in is how do we actually create the finishing effect on the capital? And to explain that, I'm just going to show you what I mean here. So here we've got ourselves a 90 by 90 post. And in one of our earlier videos, we installed a fence post capital on top. I showed you how to put the screw in, everything along those lines. But the problem with that is when you put the capital on there there you still have these rather sharp corners and it just looks a little unfinished some customers aren't bothered by it but as others have asked us well how do you create that effect and the sort of effect i'm talking about is this one that you can see on a product that we actually manufacture in our factory now this is not a fence post capital this is actually used as part of a staircase but this sort of effect here is what they're looking for and the question we get is well how can we do this on our fence post the answer to that question is, it's, it's actually quite easy to do, but you do need some of the right equipment. In particular, you need a grinder. And you need a grinder with an abrasive disc. Uh, without this, you're just not gonna be able to do it easily. So with your grinder though, the process does become easy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind off these sides, shape them up to finish it, to recreate that effect I was just showing you before. So where do we start? Well, the first thing we do is, this is actually a decision you need to make before you install your fence post capital. Now, as I said earlier, for a lot of people, it's not that important. But if you are wanting to go down and create the effect I was showing you, you need to actually do it before the capital is installed. So what you'd be doing, you'd have your square post like this. And then using a pencil, what we're wanting to do, we're wanting to mark out on the capital itself a rough sort of line. Get this nice and centred. And then just using a pencil, just come around here and mark out pretty much where we're gonna finish. It's hard to see from here, but what we've actually got is a pencil line mark around, and this is what we're gonna use as a template pretty much. So now you can see what we're talking about with that particular circle there. So that's the top of it covered. What we wanna do now is to create that elliptical effect, like you can see here. Now, to do that, what we're going to do is grab something that is circular and quite a larger diameter than this particular product. This is a product we sell, wood preservative, um, and this has got quite a nice circle. So this is what we're actually going to use. We're going to come around to the surface here and we're just going to centre it like so. And then just using your pencil, once again, mark there like that. And we're going to do that on all four sides. We now have these all four surfaces uh, marked out as well as the top and we're good to go. What's very important though is when you use power tools, safety is really important. You want some protective lenses and you want some hearing protection. So I'm going to get started now and do it. Let's go. I've done two sides so far. As you can see, it's not a lot of work, um, but uh, it's something that um, you're really just working towards these pencil lines um, to create the effect. Let's keep on going. Well, I'm not going to tell you I'm an artist, but really this is like sculpting. Uh, just take it very easy. As you can see, the stuff just peels off. If you were working with a hardwood post, you'd probably have to work it a bit harder. But look, that looks pretty good to me. Um, I'd probably spend some more time on it, but just as a bit of a comparison, you've got your capital on now. And if you have a look at the one here, it looks pretty good. 
I'd probably do a little bit more work on it myself, um, but just for the purpose of the video, I'm giving you an idea of where you would go. Um, once this part is done, then you'd get out some sandpaper, some finer sandpaper, and you'd just give it a good rub down all the way through just to smooth it up before painting it. Um, but uh, for the purpose of this video, as I said, I really just want to show you how you go through the process. Remember though, and we've got another video that we do which we talk about treatment. What we've done here is, if this post is a treated post, you've now cut back some of this surface and potentially you've exposed some fresh timber. So what's really important is you re-treat the exposed timber. That can be done with two methods. As I said, n -cell Clear, which is a spray on, or wood preservative, which is more a liquid which you'd paint on. Either of them will work, but it's really important you do that prior to painting this product. Um, as I said, if you look in the, um, look on our YouTube channel, you'll see there's a video which, which talks about these products and, and how they're used. But for the purpose of what we're showing now, we're done and uh, we've created a really great looking post. Well, I hope you've enjoyed another one of our how-to videos on the Hammersmith DIY products channel. You can view these products uh, on our website, hammersmith.com.au. And obviously with the, with the video channel, we'd love you to subscribe. Please make any comments and we're happy to reply to them. We've also got a Facebook page, uh, which you can like. And uh, so that's about it. White Roth, signing off.